Hello, it's Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and Pond Guru. Uh, this is our latest project, which is a reasonably large wildlife pond at the bottom of a field. It was totally overgrown when we came, no habitat for wildlife, so we cut back a lot of the trees. We made log piles like the one behind me. And then the muck that we dug out of the pond, i.e. the overgrown grass and soil and clay and bits of muck, we piled over the top of the log pile to make three hibernacular for amphibians. We also raised the level of the outlet by approximately a foot, 30 centimetres, to make sure that there's more water in the pond. We also scoured the bottom of the pond, taking up all the vegetation, really it was all just rubbish. Grass had rooted itself in, created a real mat, so we took all that out. We also planted a few rushes and sedges around the sides as well, just to slow down the encroachment of the grass, which had been a real problem. In one of the bank sides, we created a rockery of sorts, in dry places for um, toads and so on to, to lie up. This is the rock bank side. In total, it took three days from start to finish. First day was nearly all clearance work. Second day, on with the digger, cutting tracks in so we could actually get access to the pond and also digging some of the stuff out of the pond. And the third day, digging the rest of the stuff out of the pond, making a third hibernaculum, and also tidying up. <laughs> 